stop, 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 stop. Do not, do not go for the Dior Sauvage again, bro. Here's the thing. You're probably buying your first fragrance or it's your second fragrance and you keep making the same mistakes over and over again. And today, I'm gonna help you stop. I'm gonna help you buy the right fragrance. Let's hop into this. Number one, you're buying the fragrance that everybody else has. You need to try to be different. See, when you go into a club, you're gonna smell like 2013 Hollister. In other words, remember when you would go into Hollister and everything just smelled the same? Like every Hollister smelled the same? That's what every club in America smells like today. Dior Sauvage and Versace Eros. Do you really think you're gonna be standing apart? Are you gonna be sending any different message? No, she already recognizes this. Her last three exes, that's what they were. Do you really wanna remind her of her last three exes? Of course not, bro. Wear something different, something unique that shares a unique message. That's why our new Santa Lucia collection that I designed, I spent over a year designing it. And after being a year in the city, I was motivated, I was inspired. I wanted to send or, or, or creatively bring you into that greed, that lustful nature that New York City has and, and, and portray that through sense, which was more difficult than I thought. And that's when we came out with Asavache, with love, with gala. Asavache, for example, the way I always picture it is in a cigar room, right? Cigar rooms is where business is done. This is where the millionaires are talking about business. And the, and the interesting part is you're usually smoking the good stuff, right? You're smoking the Cohibas. You're smoking the, the $50, $100 cigars, right? This is the good stuff. It smells amazing in there. But then you leave, the tobacco and the cacao scent starts to linger and it starts to fade away. And then you're left with the, with the liquor scents, that, that whiskey, that, those undertones, and then it gets sweet. That's literally the levels that Asavache fragrance will take you through. It's the most unique scent that you'll ever throw on. It's an acquired taste and it tells a story. It smells just upscale. And the reason I called it Asavache, because the, the catchphrase for that one is, your closest friends will envy you. And that's because when you start getting into an area where you start making a lot of money, most people aren't your friends. Even the people you're making money with, greed kicks in. And now they're really envying you. In your face, they're telling you, yeah, yo, you know, I hope you succeed. But in reality, they want to succeed harder than you succeed. And that's why we call that fragrance Asavache. And Asavache is basically a black gemstone that in my country that you're supposed to use it to protect against the evil eye. Or el mal de ojo that people get out of jealousy and envy. So again, creatively, every single scent was thought out over for over a year. Like this stuff wasn't just made. This stuff was, it was built over, over the course of 12 months and every single detail you can think of was put into this. On top of that, it's made in France. This is the fragrance capital of the world. These are the best oils you'll ever find. It is the best of the best. And then on top of that, it's a parfum. So all our scents, all our three fragrances are 21% oil concentration. Unlike your regular stuff, like your, you know, your Dior's and stuff like that, most of those are EDPs, which are at around 10 to 15, depending on the fragrance. Ours is at 21% to make sure it lasts longer, you need less sprays, and it's more natural. This is the concentration that five to six hundred other fragrances have, but ours? Ours is way more affordable. And if you buy all three of them together, you're gonna get $150 off the complete bundle. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll have our new scents linked down below. Number two, you buy from the first sniff. This is a massive mistake. See, a lot of you will go to a store, you'll spray, sniff, be like, oh, I like it, I'll take it. What you don't understand is that most fragrances are made out of three layers. You have your top layer, your mid notes, and then your base notes or your lower notes. And what ends up happening is with fragrances, as the day goes on, the top notes are the first ones to go. The mid notes are the ones that last the longest or in that stage it lasts the longest. And then you have the base notes at the end of the life of that fragrance. And throughout the entire life of the day, the fragrance starts to morph and change a bit. That's why I explained to you with Arasavache, I take you through an experience through all three layers, right? Well. What happens is most of you are buying off of that top layer, not knowing how the other two layers react. So if you really like a fragrance, spray it and then leave. Go shopping for a little bit, go eat, go pick something up, maybe wear it all day, come back the next day or order it online after you've seen how it reacted all day. Which rolls on to number three, you don't try it on your skin. Too many of you will smell a fragrance off your body and be like, yo, that smells amazing, I'm gonna go buy it. Or you'll try it in a store on a piece of paper, smell and be like, oh, this smells amazing, I'm gonna buy it. You need to understand that your pH level on your skin is completely different than your friends 
and in that piece of paper, and that fragrance is going to react differently. There's been fragrances that smell, let's say, amazing on my brother, but smell horrible on me. You need to try it on your skin first. Which takes us on to number four. You buy the cheapest fragrance. It happens all the time, and that's because lack of knowledge, right? You don't understand what's happening. But let's say you go to a store and you'll see three Dior Sauvages lined up where it, this happens with Versace Eros too or Chanel Blue, where you'll see EDT, EDP, and then the Parfum. And then you'll see them at 50, 60, and $120. And most of you will go for the cheapest one. What you need to understand is that the EDT is Eau de Toilette. EDP is Eau de Parfum, and then Parfum is the highest level. These are concentration levels. So Eau de Toilette usually is anywhere from, I think, 5 to 12% oil concentration, and the rest is alcohol. EDP is a little more concentrated, and Parfum is the most concentrated. The more concentrated the fragrance, the better. It smells better, it's stronger, and it'll last you longer because you'll need less sprays. Number five, you don't store it properly. See, once you buy a good fragrance, you need to take care of it. You need to keep it away from direct sunlight, from a lot of heat, or from a lot of humidity. Ideally, you want it in a dark space that's climate control and doesn't have a lot of humidity. This is gonna protect the molecular structure of your fragrance to ensure that it lasts longer. And when you wear it, it also lasts longer and it doesn't fade too quickly. And finally, number six, you only use your fragrance for special occasions. This is a massive mistake, boys. Fragrances, they have the power of uplifting your mood, of boosting your confidence. Why would you just limit that to one day a month or one day a week? Wear that thing every day and feel on top of the world. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, boys, don't forget to check out our fragrances from Santa Lucia, our entire new dark collection, which is sick. If you guys want to check it out, it'll be linked down below. That's it for me today. See you next time.